like my mug. It's my favorite mug. It has a little nose on the front. Both of the babies are still asleep. It is a little after 7.30, so um, I'm probably going to be getting them up soon here. I normally wake them up by like 8 o'clock. Uh, welcome to a day in the life of a Mennonite mom of two under the age of a year and a half. <laughs> the reason why I haven't done really any vlogging since Miles was born is I kind of feel like my life is... I'm not going to say boring because it is the opposite of boring, but it's kind of like the same old, same old every day. I basically feed babies, change diapers, feed babies again, put babies down for naps, feed babies, change more diapers. That's kind of like all I do with my time. And so there's not a lot to film. But then I was thinking about it. I was like, you know what? Even if that is kind of boring, that is my life now. And so I'm going to show you my day. I don't have a lot planned for today, but um, I am going to take you along for my day. So thank you for being here. And yeah, let's get this day started. So I am making a cake later on. I actually baked the cake layers yesterday, um, but I didn't have a chance to make the buttercream. I'm going to be finishing that up today. I'm setting all of my ingredients out because when you're working with like buttercream, at least this recipe, I guess maybe not all recipes, but this recipe specifically, um, it just works a lot better if you have room temperature ingredients. Here are the cake layers. I baked them yesterday. I'm making chocolate cake with a chocolate buttercream. I'm putting like a raspberry layer on the inside. No, it's not a special occasion. I just felt like making a cake for my family, so I'm making a cake just for fun. crib so I think I'm just gonna go get him up it is exactly 803 got a bottle for Callan I really want to wean him off of his bottle and he pretty much only gets one um, right when he wakes up and like when he goes to bed and it's kind of more of just like a comfort thing at this point um, we were gonna wean him but then we we're like you know with Miles being born um, it's just like everything about Callan's life changed I mean like everything every aspect and uh, Daryl and I kind of decided that it was not a good time to take away his one comfort thing. So we decided to just yeah let him have a bottle in the morning and then he has one in the evening. But he's not on formula anymore. Um, this is raw cow's milk. Um, up until about two weeks ago, I had him drinking raw goat milk. of emptying like every drawer in this house. You gonna have a fun day? Okay. <laughs> yeah, there's Kellen. Oh, gonna sit on my lap. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Do you find your shoes? Should we put them on? I think I need to wash them. Oh yeah. Hey. Shall I help you? favorite word currently is no and he communicates no to me a lot at this point I don't even think he's trying to be like you know defiant really I mean he does know what he's saying so like sometimes if he's something that he doesn't want he'll say no but like it's just kind of the word that he says right now which is quite frustrating to me because like it always feels like he's like being 
like defiant, but I know he's not really meaning to be. He's just, that's just his word right now. Yeah? Do you have to clean out the cupboard right now, though? Can we do that later? No? Okay. No. All right, got to do it now. That's, that makes sense. This is an all day thing. What you doing? No? Yeah. Breakfast will be ready soon. Your breakfast is almost ready. Okay, so I'm officially the worst vlogger ever. I forgot to charge all my batteries last night. Um, I charged one battery for my camera and it's already dead, so waiting on the others to charge. But anyways, we're gonna just film on my phone so the quality is gonna be pretty. Anyways, my glamorous aesthetic, my hospital souvenir. I love this thing. I know it's not like pretty in any way, but it like tracks the ounces for me over here. So I like know how many ounces I'm getting every day. I tried to go through several of these a day, but that does not happen. It's nine o'clock. Miles is still not up. I have his bottle ready for whenever he decides to wake up, but I'm gonna get started on my first activity of the day. I'm gonna freeze some chicken. My mom got a really good deal on some chicken at um, the local meat market in Michigan where they live. And so she grabbed a couple bags of it for me. I need to put it into individual freezer bags and put it in the freezer. So I'm gonna be working on that today. I'm gonna get started. I don't know how far into it I will get before Miles is up, but yeah, we're gonna see. So I got 13 quart sized bags of chicken breast. Um, Mom said they also had thighs on sale, so I might be getting some of those later on. But this should hold us over for quite a while, several months at least. I forgot to get some chicken out. I was gonna make chicken tacos for supper. I almost put these in the freezer, but I wanna save them out for supper. So, so I wanna show you my canning shelves real quick. I actually did not do a lot of canning this year. Uh, simply because Miles was born in July and so I just yeah I didn't feel like I could handle it on top of there's some of my sunflowers that I am drying I'm gonna use those to plant sunflowers next spring. I have peaches that I need to put on the shelves yet um, Pumpkin these are hot peppers that I dried. I'm making um, red pepper flakes with those I have a whole other box of peaches. These are peaches too um, Mom canned some potatoes for me don't have Instagram and you haven't really seen much of Miles yet, this is Mr. Miles. These days are just going so fast. He is three months old. He has a little bit of cradle cap going on. I never really dealt with any cradle cap with Callan. I actually put some healing elements on. I can't find the cap for this thing. It's the healing elements balm um, from Lemongrass Spa. Um, I will link this in the description box. If you're a mom and you don't have this stuff on hand, um, you should really get some for like any types of like scrapes or bruises that like Callan gets. Um, I use it on diaper rashes. This stuff has been working amazing for that. So if you don't have any, um, you should you should definitely get some of this and try it. Um, like I said, I'll put a link for it in the description box.
I got a phone call while I was making the chicken for tonight. Did I tell you we're having chicken tacos? I think I said that already. Anyway, I picked up this um, chicken seasoning at a local like Mexican supermarket. Just is so good if it like marinates all day. I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator. I'm gonna go change a stinky diaper that I smell walking around and um, then I'm gonna make the buttercream. So yeah, and it is only 10 o'clock in the morning. So feel kind of productive today. Maybe I should vlog more often. So Callan made an absolute mess of his toys and found the mop and all sorts of things. So I just laid Miles here on the floor for a little while. Um, I lay him on the floor every morning and he just kind of chills for a while. Um, Callan is learning to be gentle around him. So as soon as Miles has been up for roughly an hour, um, I'll put him down for his morning nap. Um, he usually sleeps close to two hours. I don't think he's hungry. Yes, don't throw it on Miles. I'm gonna leave Miles here on the floor. Callan is gonna go play, and I am going to go get started on my cake. Yeah. Oh. almost done sifting my um, cocoa powder and powdered sugar and I'm going to start making my buttercream. So typically I would use my turntable and I would like start my knife on one side. I would kind of like cut it as I spin it but I don't have my turntable. One of my friends is borrowing it. So I'm going to try and do this entire cake without a turntable, which shouldn't be that big of a deal, but it will be a little more challenging. Okay, so I'm taking a quick lunch break. And different than like lunch break. This is a different, <laughs> yeah. an actual lunch break. <laughs> we should film a lunch break episode with Daryl's here. Okay. Please don't do that. So what we're having, that looks awful, I understand. <laughs> um, it does look a mess. It looked better last night, okay? Um, this is leftovers from dinner last night. I made sausage tortellini soup. It has spinach in it, whole nine yards. I'll actually link the recipe in the description box because we loved the recipe. Mm -hmm. um, dish, yeah? Is it yummy? Anyways, so we're having that for lunch, but I'll link the recipe because it's actually amazing. You will, you should try it. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I think we're gonna be done now. Is that the first time he's had that? Mm -hmm. Let's drink water now. I agree, this is much less exciting. <laughs> back to the cake. Daryl left for work again. So I'm putting raspberry um, in each of the layers. Um, and so I just got this. It's like a pre-made raspberry filling. Usually I would like to make my own, um, but this stuff is like so much faster. It's really yummy. Um, I don't know where you can buy this. I know that you guys are going to ask me like where you can get some of this. I don't know. I just buy this at like a Mennonite owned bulk food store that's local.
I just finished my crumb coat on my cake and I laid Miles down for his nap. Um, Callan is still sleeping. It's like 2.30 right now. He's been sleeping since roughly 12.30. I'm gonna run out and feed my chickens. This is like one of my favorite parts of the entire day. I think um, in one of my last vlogs, I showed you the chicken coop that we had at the time and I only had, I think, three chickens, two chickens. I'm excited to update you because my husband finished the chicken coop and um, I got a bunch of new hens. So I'm excited to take you out there and kind of show you what's going on. <laughs> Um, the feed ready to take to my chickens. So I'm feeding them a non-GMO, just like a layer mash. Um, I add oyster shells. I'm going to add oregano and red pepper flakes. Oregano is really beneficial for chickens in boosting their immune systems. And it's just like for overall health, it's really good for chickens. Um, and if you watched one of my videos like earlier this summer, I had said I was going to experiment with feeding my chickens red pepper flakes um, to help with like the pigment of the yolks. And so far, it has been working amazingly. I mean, it has gone really well. I've had some of the most beautiful um, orange-colored yolks. I just sprinkle in some red pepper flakes. Then I sprinkle in some of my oregano. Make a whole cocktail for my chickens. <laughs> little silky hens. I love the little fluffy white ones. And this is my one hen that is laying currently. Her name is Henrietta. The rest of my hens, which you can see a few of them coming in right there, they are about 17 weeks old right now, so they're going to be laying really soon. These are the roosting boxes, and it looks like Henrietta was kind enough to lay an egg. We actually got the chicken coop. Um, we bought it on Facebook Marketplace. The tin here was actually blue and the inside was pretty nasty and I actually just like cleaned everything out. We painted everything. Um, Daryl did a bunch of repairs. When we got it, it didn't have a door. So he built these Dutch doors and um, made all of my Dutch door dreams come true. I love Dutch doors um, and I always wanted my chicken coop to have Dutch doors. I absolutely love having chickens. It has been so fun. I have one rooster. I will be selling eggs if you're local um, as soon as my other hens start laying, which should be very soon. Um, yeah, like I said, they're 17 weeks old right now, so um, it should be happening soon. <laughs> but yeah, I am so excited to be having enough eggs to share with my friends and hopefully sell. when I post on my Instagram um, about like how I do my herbs and like when I dry them and then my like how I store them. There's always like so many questions so I'm trying to decide if I should just like make like a separate video like how to dry herbs. I might just condense it and like explain it to you um, in this video but yeah. So I just picked the remainder of my herbs. I picked the parsley, thyme, and rosemary. Um, my chamomile is done for the year. My mint is done for the year. My basil's done for the year. So these are pretty much the only three that are left. These are some of the herbs that I dried um, earlier this summer. Um, I have basil. I kind of like crush it up and make flakes. I have parsley. I actually have two jars of parsley. And then this is the English thyme. I did not dry any cilantro. I wish I would have, um, but it ended up going to seed and I didn't. I didn't get around to it. So I have to wait and like update you on the whole storage process um, once they're completely dry and ready to be stored. 
So I can't show you the entire process today. So it's 3.30. Um, Kellen just got up from his nap, so he slept since 12.30. So he should be raring to go for the rest of the evening. Anyways, um, Miles is still asleep, so we are going to wash the herb. And then I am going to put the last layer of buttercream on the cake. Can you a snack? Okay, let's go get food. This child would eat two bananas every day if I let him. Oh, wanna feed yourself? Mm. Yeah, you think you're big stuff. Mm. Yum. Heading out to the chickens. Yeah? There's our free range hen. <laughs> Be nice. <laughs> she's an older hen, and so um, she's not laying anymore. She is too old to be butchered. She's not really gonna be good for meat at that point. So I had actually just let her go. Um, like I let her out of the coop. I don't have free range chickens. I'm kind of expecting her to just run off into the woods and be free. Um, she was originally a free range chicken before I had her. So I was like, oh, she'll survive just fine. And I was just gonna let her go. She will not leave. She has decided to stay. And so now we have one free range hen. <laughs> She just hangs out here, and so that's a good time. Mm -hmm. Should we go give the spinach to the chickens? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go. Are we going to chicken coop? <coughs> Don't kick them. Be <coughs> nice. a quick ganache, a uh, chocolate ganache to make a drip on my cake. So if you look up recipes online, there's just like all sorts of recipes and it has to be this ratio of chocolate to this ratio of like cream. And it just like really over complicates the entire process. Um, I kind of have a redneck way of doing it. I just put some chocolate chips in a bowl and then in another bowl, I heat some heavy cream and it doesn't need to be boiling, just like pretty hot. Um, and then I will just pour this over top of the chocolate chips just until the chocolate chips are like covered. Sometimes I'll take a spatula and I'll just like push the chocolate chips down into the cream. And then you just let it sit for like anywhere from two to five minutes. Um, and then you just kind of stir it and it makes a ganache. You can um, then like depending on how thick or how runny you like it, you can add more cream or more chocolate chips. Um, pretty easy the way I do it. I don't know, someone's probably like a professional baker and watching this and is like, oh, that's so wrong, Kim. But I don't know, this is what works for me and so this is just the way I have been doing it. I have one humongous drip over here and then a bunch of short drips over here. Not my best work, but you know what? It's fine. I'm gonna set this aside and work on making supper. Like I said, we're having chicken tacos. Usually I would make a big pot of like Mexican rice to go with this, but I don't think I'm gonna go to all that trouble tonight. It's just gonna be very simple, very easy. Please ignore all of the mess over there that Callan made. We'll be ready to eat in just a minute. Daryl is actually warming the um, tortilla shells for me. I'm gonna lay my herbs out on these towels so that they can dry. And then as soon as they are dry, I'm going to put them into bunches and put string around them and then I'll hang them up.
cow's milk um, from the farm yesterday. Daryl um, put Callan in the bathtub. He's gonna help him get ready for bed. And in the meantime, I am going to like bundle up my herbs and get them ready to hang. There you go. not my first day as a YouTuber. I know you guys are dying to see what the inside of the cake looked like. So I cut into it um, a little while ago. I actually took some of the cake over to my nieces and nephews because um, we are certainly not going to eat an entire cake. But anyways, I saved a piece. I want to show you the inside. It's kind of a sloppy piece because I just kind of like whacked it off the cake real quick. But the raspberry layer is so amazing. I feel like this video got kind of lengthy and for that I apologize. I don't know, I just feel like I haven't vlogged in so long. I just felt like we had a lot to catch up on. I'm glad you could be here and hang out with me. This was fun. Um, I will see you again next week, hopefully. I don't know. I'll see you in the next video. But yeah, thank you for your support and for being here and hanging out with me today. If you made it this far, you might as well like this video. Leave me a comment. <sighs> I think I'm needed in the other room. So I hope you have a good day and I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye guys.